Hello everyone, it's Helen here and welcome to Grandad's Island Art Project. So when I see you on the Zoom, we'll be reading from Grandad's Island and finding out all about Grandad and Sid's adventures together. And when I look at Grandad's Island, it's full of all the things that Grandad would like to see there. I was thinking, what might you like to see on an island? Or what might I like to make on an island? And I thought I might like to open a pizza shop. So the first thing I was going to do was ask you if you could help me to design some pizzas for the menu. And I can show you how to do that. So if you're ready, let's go. So to start off, I was thinking of all the different ways I could make some pizza toppings. I've cut some pages out of magazines, cut these into squares, and I've collected some sequins, and some wool, some pom-poms, some streamers, bits of coloured paper that I've cut into shapes, and then I've put them all into pots, so we have our ingredients. Next, I'm going to think about my pizza base. You can use paper or card or a paper plate. Here I've made my base from orange paper. I just drew round a dinner plate to create the circle, cut it out, and now I'm covering it with my red paint sauce to create something that looks a bit tomato-y. Now I'm going to use some black paint on my finger to fingerprint some olives for my pizza. Once I've done the painting, it's really important to let it dry. Then you're ready to paint on some glue. Then when it's all covered, we're ready to add our toppings. So I'm putting on some of my cut up bits of magazine. I'm just checking they're all stuck down really well. And then I'll glue on top as I'm going to add some more toppings. I think next I'm going to sprinkle some of my hole punch bits. And then add some bits of wool, it's like grated cheese. Press these down to make sure they're all glued on nicely. And then some nice sparkly bits. Some red and green bits of paper. Mmm, looking really tasty. I think it might be ready. I was even thinking that on a nice day, we could make pizzas from materials we find outside. We could cut some grass, find some leaves, and make a pizza out of natural materials. When I was collecting leaves for the pizzas, I was thinking there are lots of leaves in the story, lots of plants, and of course, lots of leaves in the jungle. And I was looking at the shapes of these and thinking, what can we do with them? I wonder what kind of creatures you'll be able to find in the leaves if you collect some. You could make some eyes out of buttons or googly eyes. Could you find some fish? Could you find some birds? There are lots of lovely tropical creatures on Grandad's Island. You could use a little bit of glue to fix on an eye and then put it on a nice piece of paper and take a photograph. When I was looking through the book, I was thinking that there are lots of places where we could make some sound effects. Grandad has a little cat, and we couldn't think about the noise that the cats make. Also, when he gets to the jungle, there's lots of animals here parrots and squawking things. Probably there are some insects. So you might have some shaky eggs at school to make some insect noises or some rustling sounds. I've got some streamers here. Later in the book, there's a great big storm and Sid has to drive the boat through some very stormy waves. And I thought perhaps we could try and 
make a storm sound effect. And I've got one of these thunder machines here. So that makes some thundery noises and also could use rain sticks to create the sound of the boat travelling over the waves. Perhaps you could make a stormy sea with a big piece of material. You could use a sheet or something that will create some big rolling waves. I even thought we could use some water spray. Because this makes it feel as though we're on the boat and that the waves are lashing over the top of the boat and we're getting all covered in water. So I look forward to seeing you to tell you the story. Remember to practice your sound effects, some nice meows and some jungle noises, and then we can have our big storm in the middle of our story. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoy making your pizzas and leaf creatures and practicing your sound effects. And I'll look forward to seeing you on the Zoom very soon. Bye.